watching WMBD This Morning. It's time now for Mom Hacks. The countdown to Thanksgiving is on, and if you don't have your menu squared away yet, WMBD's Kyrie Ann Lee has these quick and easy recipes for you to try. Well, Thanksgiving is just a few days away, and we all know it takes lots of time to prepare. So whether you're a busy mom or in charge of Thanksgiving dinner, we're here with Heidi Dietitian Brooke Rush, who's going to show us ways to decrease your time in the kitchen and increase your time spent with family. We're making two easy recipes, crock pot mashed potatoes and green bean casserole that you can make ahead of time to save some time. All right, let's dig right in. All right, this is super easy, Kyrie I'm gonna have you put those golden potatoes in our crock pot. We just did a few of them, five to 10, depending on how big your family is. Okay. We have a cup and a half of low fat milk, 1%. Go ahead and dump that in. You'll notice we didn't skin those potatoes. That's adding extra fiber. Potatoes are great with potassium as well. A cup and a half of our chicken bone broth. That's gonna add 15 grams of protein to our potatoes. All right. We've got some minced garlic, a tiny bit of salt and pepper. And the great thing about this is you dump all this in, give it a slight mix, put that lid on, and you just let it roast for four hours on high, and then you just puree it a little bit with a hand mixer, and it's done. The green bean casserole here. So obviously we're gonna start with our green beans. This is another okay. easy one. We're just doing three cans of these green beans. I beefed it up, and I actually put a pound of some mushrooms in there. Nice. Mushrooms are an awesome source of vitamin D. Also got half of an onion in there. We're gonna give that a little mix. We add our cream of mushroom soup, two cans of that. I did choose the reduced sodium one. And then the last two ingredients, we have our pepper. And then only three quarters cup of that chicken bone broth again. So you can make this days ahead, foil it, freeze it, and then when you're ready to bake it, just throw it in the oven. That does it for this week's Mom Hacks. See you next week.